Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You can probably see from the smile on my face that I am excited. That is because for this video, I have this baby. Check it out. Well, should I give you a glimpse? I'll give you a glimpse. Let me tell you the quick story. So, oh, this is several months ago. My buddy from the pawn shop, shout out to Tollivers, said, hey man, text me. I got something here that I know you're gonna want got in touch with them and this is what it was i said i gotta have it i'll be down there go down there and what he shows me is this baby right here you guys know that i am a huge ruger american fan we have hundreds and hundreds literally hundreds of videos on ruger americans this is a very very special one one main thing that sets it apart is this stainless barrel. So some of you Ruger American nerds like me might recognize this. Ruger, some time ago, came out with the Ruger American Magnums. That is not what this is. But you could get Ruger American Magnums for a little while in 7mm mag and 300 wind mag with a stainless barrel. Those are pretty hard to find, but that is not what this is. This is, and I'm going to read this off the interweb so I don't get it wrong. This is a very rare Ruger American Alaskan. It's called the Ruger American Alaskan chambered in 338 wind mag. I haven't cleaned up this stock yet, but that's how I got it. So what I did, I looked it up. They apparently, from all the research I could find, Ruger only made five to 600 of these in the mid to late 2000s. I, I want to say somewhere around 2006 or something. They made five to 600 of these. I could be terribly wrong about those dates. I think that's what I'm recalling in my memory. But what this is, I'm going to run down to the specs right here. 338 Winchester Magnum, 338 Win Mag, Ruger American. With the 24 inch barrel, it is a long bar. Look at that right there. 24 inch barrel with a one in two twist, just like Ruger Americans, all of them come with a rail. Uh, what else does it talk about here? Tank safety, typical adjustable trigger, extended magazine release. That right there. Three round mag capacity, overall length is 44 and a half inches. So what I did, when I got this, it had a three to nine by 40 vortex on it. Perfectly fine for hunting at 100, 200 yards. Uh, but I took that off. Well, actually I took that off, took it all apart, even took the stock off, retorqued everything. I did put Loctite on the rail, just to make sure before we take it out to the range, we weren't chasing our tail on anything. The rail being loose, which actually, this rail was very loose. Every single one of these screws, I believe it's one, I believe it's four screws in that. Every single one of them weren't even hand tight. So they were loose. I could unscrew them with just the, the uh, Torx bit without even the handle. That's how loose they were. So hopefully this guy didn't trade his 338 Ruger American in thinking that it wasn't grouping well because the rail was loose, because it was extremely loose. It wasn't so loose where you could sit there and rock the scope back and forth, but like I said, those screws were super loose, all four of them. Took that scope off, we'll probably use it for something else, maybe give it away, and I put on this baby, the 3 Primal 3 to 18 from Right On. Really, really cool scope that I just got not too long ago. The Primal line from Rhydon, that's their line of hunting optics, 3 to 18 zoomies. It's a sweet, sweet scope. Got some good rings on there. For this video, this is my first trip to the range with my new to me Ruger American Alaskan in 338 Win Mag. On the end, I put my Banish 338 Shusher Machine. That's right, the Banish 338. We got a 338 wind mag. We're putting the Banish 338 on it. Perfect setup. And 
We'll talk about more about that at the end. And I've got some Remington Core Locked. Yes, Remington Core Locked. They still load this stuff. This is an older box I found, actually, in the same shop as that, 338. Remington Core Locked, 338 Win Mag, 225 grain PSPs. And uh, they still load this. The SKU on this is 22189. That's the part number from Ruger, 22189. Right there. But come along with me. That's a whole lot of storytelling, more than I normally do, but this is a special occasion. Come, come along with me to the range. We're going to get this thing sighted in with this Remington Core Locked. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed because after this video, I'm going to do a follow-up video getting my hands on as much 338 Win Mag Boo Lots and we're going to do some testing with it. Let's head to the range. First time at the range with this Ruger American 338 Win Mag. I got high hopes for it. Right on 3 Primal, 3 to 18 on top and we're sighting it in with... This Remington Core Locked 338 Wind Mag. Should be pretty cool. 225 grain. Take our time, single feed them. Already laser four sided it at the house. It doesn't want a single feed easy, so let me put it in the mag. Vanish 338. Just your machine on the end there. Ought to be on paper half decent from my war site. Definitely came off the scope there. It's like we hit a shade low and an inch and a half right or so. So, uh, We'll go ahead and make an adjustment and we'll send another one. Alright, now that should have us pretty decently sighted in. I'm going to move to a clean target and we'll do a group of three here based off of that. And go ahead and load three in the mag. Alright, camera's good. Can's not Real burning hot from one, but 338 wind mag produces a significant amount of heat. Let's go ahead and do two groups of three here. So far, it's looking good, like I like it a lot. We're gonna have to take a deer with this thing. Don't know how I felt about that squeeze, but we'll measure these. Do another group of three. This thing's getting hot already. Thing likes this core lock stuff, which is good. All right, so I got my groups measured with the calipers here. Just like I do everything else, I laser bore sighted that at the house. And my first squeeze at 100 yards was eh, three quarters inch low and two inches right of the bullseye at 100 yards. Not too shabby. Then how did we do with the core locked? I got a 1.25 inch group there and a 1.44 inch group there. And like I said, I'm gonna do some more testing. A really expensive video. If you don't have a 338 Win Mag, go check out 
the prices in today's market on 338 WinMag. Every squeeze is roughly $6 every time you send one down range with the 338 WinMag. 6 to $7 every time you send one down. But uh, it's still awesome. So let me roll back a clip real quick. With the can on there, it takes a lot of the sound out and the recoil. There were actually two different dudes there at the range with me. Old timers, you know how they are. They come up to you, hey, what you got? And then they want to show you everything they got. I wish cool. Uh, sometimes you get to see some really cool stuff. Both of those old timers did not believe me. They said, oh, what's that thing you're shooting? It's pretty quiet. I said, it's a 338 Win Mag. They said, no, you're kidding me. I said, yes. It's got the suppressor on it. That's 338 Win Mag. So let me roll in a couple here again so you can focus on listening to the sound there. So, like I said there, I have the Banish 338 on the 338 Win Mag. This thing weighs just over 17 ounces and it's made out of titanium and Inconel, and yeah, it's awesome. So you could run this on your 30 cals and everything else if you wanted to. But man, suppressed 338 wind mag is awesome. Again, let me pull up those groups. Where'd I drop my paper here? With the Remington Core Locked, best group was a 1.25. Another one was a 1.44. Stay tuned. The next time I have that at the range, it's going to be testing as many different loadings as I can get my hands on. That's going to be an expensive video, five, six hundred beans and ammo. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Thanks everybody for blowing up my phone and asking me when this video was come out. Finally got the thing to the range and sighted in. Can't wait to get it out again and do some more testing with it. Slow down, focus on our squeeze. Uh, with the can on there, honestly, uh, not bad recall at all. Appreciate y'all watching. Super excited about this Ruger American Alaskan in 338 Win Mag. More videos to come. And you know we're going to have to try to catch some deers with it too. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you guys have followed us on hootiehoo.com and subscribe to the newsletter. All kind of fun stuff over there. Make sure you're on the hootiehoo.com newsletter. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo-hoo!